Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing another weekend vlog. I am outside of Salata right now, or Salata, I don't know how you pronounce it. It is super hot out right now. It is Saturday and I am in desperate need of a big salad. I think I might go for a more sweeter, sweeter kind. I don't put any protein, like uh, nothing like that. I'm a vegetarian. I think I mention this in every single weekly or weekend vlog. But anyway, I'm gonna show you whenever I'm there and eating my delicious salad. But uh, after this, very exciting, I'm gonna step into Barnes & Noble. I have at least two books that I wanna pick up from there as kind of like a little birthday celebration gift, sort of, I guess. Um, my weekend just, my weekend, my birthday just passed a few weeks ago, so I'm still in the birthday mood. And part of my birthday, I knew I wanted to pick up some books including a few that are part of series so one of them is i don't know i don't know how to pronounce it the wisteria society of ladies crowns i don't know i'll put the picture the picture of the book here i think actually i'm gonna pick that one up on amazon i think it's a little bit cheaper like five dollars cheaper but from barnes and noble there's two that i want to pick up the windsor knot which is kind of like a cozy mystery about queen elizabeth solving a mystery that happened in a murder that happened at Windsor Castle. So I definitely wanna pick up that one up from Barnes & Noble because it costs the exact same from Amazon. And I'm also picking up from Barnes, um, oh my goodness, I forgot the name. It's a, it's a Spanish, uh, Spanish one. It's from the author, it's called Javier Castillo. And I think, actually, yeah, La Chica de Nieve, I think, something like that, it's a thriller. So that is gonna be part of my book club that I have with my friend. We've been doing it since, April so this is gonna be for the book club of July but I still want to pick it up already since you know I guess I want to treat myself for my birthday but uh, yeah let's get this weekend vlog started I am very excited for the weekend of course but anyway I'll see you when I have a big salad in front of me that I was in it's literally like in the same little plaza area so anyway um, I'm gonna head in I'm looking specifically for two books but I don't know what's gonna happen I really want to keep it in the two books that I want to get which one of them is gonna be my July um, book club or book for my book club with my friend which is gonna be the Spanish one and I also want to pick up one that I want to read you know personally I am almost done, probably 50, por 50 more pages on Daisy Hate. My hand is getting tired. And once I'm done with this one, I already have... So Daisy is the third, the second book of the Magnolia Universe. So the third one is the second really on the side, the POB of Magnolia. So I am super excited. I already have that one at home. I've been taking a long time reading Daisy because number one, I want to savor every moment of the book. And number two, because we're already, of course, in June, I started Pride and Prejudice, which is my book for my book club with my friend. So I've been giving more priority to that one. And then just a little bit reading the end of Daisy. But I'm almost done, like I mentioned, like 50 pages probably. I'm gonna finish it today. I wanna just finish it so I can fully dive into Pride and Prejudice for June. And then once I'm done with Pride and Prejudice, I am very excited to start the second on the Magnolia story, so the third in the Magnolia universe. And for July, I am picking up the fourth, and apparently right until right now, the last on the Magnolia universe. But I mentioned this thing in a previous video. Apparently, Jessa Hastings is starting uh, to write or is about to publish, I'm not entirely sure, I think this year, the fifth in the Magnolia universe, which makes me super excited because I am obsessed with this series. I do not want it to end um so yeah that'll be for july but for now we're gonna pick up my july book for the book of the month and then my 
um, my winter knot book and maybe, I don't know, we'll see what else we find. So I will see you inside. I'm still trying to find the rest of the product that's home and I did end up buying just the two books that I wanted to buy well technically I just bought one because the other one is going to be sent to my house because they didn't um so I ended up getting the Windsor knot which this is the one that I had on my list and here's Daisy and it is pretty pretty short it's not even 300 pages so it's gonna be a very short novel but I'm excited because it is uh it is a a series i think it's three books of um in the same series and don't judge me don't judge me please because i stopped by chipotle to get michael a bowl and when i was there i was like you know what okay i'm just gonna go ahead and do it so i ordered myself one as well i know i just ate but the salad since it didn't have any protein it was just the veggie like the, the lettuce and a lot of fruit i was very hungry and i'm already hungry it's 6 20 almost so i'm gonna go ahead and sit down have my bowl and finish up daisy i don't know if i'm gonna finish it just in this sitting but probably so i'm gonna i don't know and this is the bag that i was carrying today i love it i like to use it of course during spring and summer and i haven't used it like all year so it's super cute now in bed after my shower and skincare and i'm ready to finish finally daisy hates i did not read this as fast as i did magnolia i think magnolia i finished i want to say in a week i was like i could not put that book down um but this one is also very good there are a few things that are not like one thing that annoyed me and that is the use of i don't know how you call this you see the very bottom of the book you know, so it has like those little numbers and then like you're reading and then it has a tiny number in a letter and then you in a word and then you go down and it gives you more information. It's kind of like more of the things that are either happening or what Daisy is thinking. It's just about Daisy. So whenever is Daisy's point of view, that's whenever those little numbers pop up and then you look down and it's something. So it was a little distracting. That's why also I feel like I didn't read it as fast because kind of like catching on the number and then going back down and then reading what the extra thing says and then going back to where I was. It could be, I mean, I get it. It's kind of like she's saying something, but then she's like thinking also something else or like adding to that what she's saying, like adding to that thought. So overall, I am really enjoying this book. Clearly, I, I've mentioned this before. I am in love with the Magnolia universe, but um. I'm almost done, you guys. I'm excited. So I'm going to head to my book and then I'm going to go to bed and I will see you tomorrow. Definitely. To wrap up this uh, weekend vlog. I am all done. I'm so tired too. I'm done with Daisy Hates. Um, the last pages I thought was still about Daisy, but I guess they're like a preview of the next for magnolia so the very last i don't know maybe like 10 pages are about magnolia once she's in new york um i did not see this ending coming at all so yeah another five star for me 
I really liked it. Um, I guess that last 40 pages, maybe. I don't want to give too much away because I don't want to give any spoilers. But if you seen it, if you read it, uh, it was, gosh, it was very dramatic. The end. I definitely not did not see that coming at all. Like nothing of what happened I saw coming, which is pretty. I mean, now that I think about it, that's exactly what happened with Magnolia. The ending was just mind blowing. So this was also pretty up there. Ah, <sighs> but yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired. I'm really tired. I started putting Lucita up there as a timeout situation whenever she gets a little too crazy. That's Remus's little window, window seating. And she actually really enjoys it. Like I'll put her up there and it's not very tall. Like she can just jump without any issue. But she chooses to stay there for the longest of times and she enjoys her time just being there. And um, Look at his beard. Here's, here's Red. His little beard. He doesn't have a beard. Oh, Romy's behind He's like me. Oh yeah, pushing me. But anyway, um, we're gonna be doing a game day today, and then possibly go on a bicycle ride later today. Um, it's really nice outside right now, but it's hot. Right now it's hot, so possibly like around like seven-ish, we'll go out, take our bicicletas. Um, I did, maybe, I did also finish Daisy Hates yesterday and I already put it back in the shelf. So it's down there and as you can tell I also already have Magnolia Parks, the third option. But I am currently reading, because I finished Daisy Hates yesterday so I started today Pride and Prejudice. This is my book of the month. Uh, for June and I am reading this with Monica a friend of mine. So we have like our little book club. So I am like five chapters in it is a book that I definitely have to be Fully paying attention Like with everything on me because it can get a little confusing. It's a classic and it, although the English is very still very similar I don't know uh, the way she writes of course is not the same way as like contemporary authors but I'm enjoying it so far of course I love the movie and I've read this book before like chapters here and there I've had that book since I was in high school so I've already read it but never fully read it so just little pieces here and there so I made a point like okay I have to read it entirely from like uh, start to finish but yeah we're gonna head over to play our game and probably later I'll read a little bit more, go on a bicycle ride with Michael. He's not feeling very good. So hopefully he gets a little bit better. And once the weather or the sun goes down a little bit, we'll go on a bicycle ride because it's very pretty outside right now. And um, you can see it's very sunny but very hot. So he'll have some time to recover with our games. And we have a few options. Um, so yes, I do have two options of Pride and Prejudice or two, two books. I have this one that I got in high school. This is like a mass produced paperback. And I have the very cute version from Barnes & Noble. So I'm honestly between both of them. But uh, for annotating purposes, I'm using this one. And I do have a couple of annotations already. Um, I don't know. I have to. I have to go back and reread the last chapter, which is chapter six, because I feel like I missed a few things. And there is a section that I got a little confused right here. Um, I don't know when they're talking about Miss Bennett, and I, I don't know. I need to go back. This is, of course, a list, a list of it. Uh, so I need to go back and reread this chapter. It's chapter 6 and on chapter 10 I'm going to stop and then my friend and I are gonna revisit what we read. 
Because she's like, hey, this book is a little complicated to me. And I'm like, yeah, also to me. But anyway. Uh, we have a few options, like I was mentioning. So we have our burrito, which we call burrito. Uh, Michael and I, because that's an inside joke with one of our friends. So we call it a uh, burrito. This is a card game that I bought, well, that the babies got for us back in December. It was their, one of their gifts for us. I think they can purchase games. Of course they can. So they got us this for Christmas and another one. They got us two, two games for Christmas, the babies. And then we've got Ticket to Ride Europe. And then lastly, we have On Earth. So I still have my birthday flowers and then my little card. Um, we're having some chips, some popcorn, and I've got a little lemonade. But yeah, did are you, you ready come, to play? Did you come show little Ray? Of course. How he smiles. Are you ready to play? Mm -hmm. Hi, my little Ray. Come on this side. Hi, boy. You can see him smiling. See? Hi, you're so cute. Yes, he does. He smiles so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. Get up. Oh my gosh. Okay, time to get up everyone. So we decided to start with Ticket to Ride Europe, which I absolutely love. I don't know which one is my favorite game out of the ones we have. Probably between this one and Wingspan. I love Wingspan. And for my birthday, which just passed, I got a new game, which I got Wingspan Europe Edition, which I'm super excited to get. But for now, we're gonna be playing Ticket to Ride Europe, which out of the two we have the original on this one, this is definitely my favorite. I'll go first. He'll go first because he's a little sick. How many do we choose? One and one, right? What do you mean? One. No, you can pick, you have two options. You can either get two from here or get one or one or two one from here. Or only one rainbow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here is my long route, which is uh, pretty crazy. Look at my little girl. I'm a big girl. She's like a German Shepherd. I'm pretty sure she's most likely full bred. Like, I don't think this is like a mixed dog. She looks like straight up like a German Shepherd and she's big. So I tell Michael that we have an extra small, an extra extra small dog, a small, a medium with red, then large with Pinto, and then we're missing our extra large. There she is. She was the companion of Red, our new rescue. So she always stays around and she lives underneath our house. She stays all always there. Um, hi, Bim Mamita. We need to give you a proper name. I haven't thought about it. I'm thinking about calling her Prudence. That's the number one name that I have. Because Pinto is the only one with a P name. So we need another P and Prudence is beautiful. And of course, because of Prudence, the song from the Beatles. So yeah, we'll see. But anyway, I think we should be leaving. Adios, mi mamita. Cuida la casita, chiquita. Okay? We're ready, I think. I'm hoping. Because it looks like it's going to rain. 